All right, so what is the point of telescopes? Basically, telescopes are devices that collect and focus any type of electromagnetic radiation. We'll talk, and we've talked about that, but any type. So this picture here is a picture of an optical telescope. It collects and focuses visible light. For optical, there's actually two types, refracting or reflecting. The reflecting telescope is actually the most popular, and it uses a mirror, a curved mirror. And so light comes in, and light comes in parallelly, so all straight in the same angle. And it hits this curved mirror. Now it has to be curved because you want to direct it to a focus, right? because telescopes need to collect and focus light. So it's being directed towards the focus. Now there's the focal length. The focal length is the distance between your mirror and your prime focus. Refracting telescopes, these don't use mirrors. They actually use lenses. And so all the light comes in the same direction. And the lens will bend the light. As it goes through the lens, the light bends into a focus. And again, you have the focal length, same definition. OK, so here's just a picture of a reflector versus a refractor. So in the refractor, I'll start with the second one first. The light comes in, it goes through this lens, hits a focus, and then gets directed to your eye. In the reflector, the light comes in, hits a mirror, gets bounced back, and now in this case it hits a secondary mirror. It's not necessarily true in all telescopes, but it hits a secondary mirror, and then it focuses, hits that focus, and shoots out your eyepiece. Refracting telescopes are no longer widely used, mainly because the lens can absorb some of the light. Right, So this is a big problem if you're talking UV light or infrared. It'll absorb the light and not let it through, so therefore you can't collect it. The lenses are really heavy. The bigger the telescope, the bigger area you can focus, the better your image. So you need a big lens. Right? Well, they're heavy. They can deform just like glass deforms. The lens will deform. They're difficult to make, difficult to support. You can only support it on the ends. You can't put a back on it because then the light won't be able to go through. Whereas mirrors, you can support it, and mirrors won't become distorted. Also, there's two surfaces you have to take care of. Right? To polish both sides, make sure they're completely dust-free, completely streak-free, completely clean. One surface is bad enough. Now this is another problem with refracting telescopes. It's called chromatic abrasion. And basically what it is, is the colors will focus at different points. So your prime focus is actually at different points depending on what color is going through. So that's kind of a problem. Where do you want to focus? Which color is more important to you? All right, so how does this work? Light from a distant object enters a telescope. Right, so you've got your light source coming in, all at the same angle, hitting, in this case, it looks like a mirror, which, again, those ones are the ones that are more commonly used. Hits a mirror, bends the light, or reflects the light, I should say, reflects the light back to its focus. And all of this light is gathered to make your image. Now you'll notice the image and the source are upside down, but there's telescopes that can correct for that and software and yada, yada, yada. All right, so most telescopes, you'll see the eyepiece kind of coming out the side. Why is that? Well, because if the light comes in and then bounces off the mirror, and you want to see it at the prime focus, you're basically going to have to stick your head at the opening for the light to come in. That won't really work. Your head will block the light and you won't see anything. So they put another mirror in there to bounce the 
image or the light to another focus where you can see it directing towards your eye. There's a bunch of different telescope designs. The prime focus is the simplest and basically that's the first picture here. It's exactly what I had mentioned before. The light comes in, reflects, goes back to that prime focus and you see it at that prime focus. That was a little bit difficult because you're blocking all the light. So Newton, Newtonian, is the next one. And actually we'll talk about this one in the next slide. But prime focus, Newtonian focus, Cassegrain focus, and the Naismith focus. Those are all different types of reflecting telescope designs. Okay, so here's the Newtonian. It looks a lot like the prime, except it's got this extra mirror. So the light comes in, bounces off the first mirror, goes towards its prime focus, hits the second mirror. The second mirror directs it up so that you have an eyepiece that's not in the way of the light coming in. Seems simple. These are examples of Newtonian. You can see kind of the more modern one, and it has the eyepiece sticking out. Next one is the Cassegrain. Cassegrain's a little bit different. You've got the light coming in, bouncing off a mirror, going back towards the prime focus, but hits a mirror, and, and that mirror directs the light back towards that first mirror, except there's a little hole in it, and that's where the light comes out, and that's where your eyepiece is. So this one, you kind of you point and shoot, essentially. You look through the bottom, and the light's coming in the top, and it's got a bunch of bouncing, reflecting lights, or bends, uh, to get you to the final image. This is a Cassie grain. It's a little bit interesting because it does have a hole in it, but it is useful, and you'll see where in a second. This is where the Hubble telescope is actually a Cassie grain telescope. So the light comes in one end, bounces around a couple times, goes out the other end. Now, obviously, there's not a person looking through it. It's a computer, and it will send all the images back down to Earth. Another one that's large enough to hook up to a computer to take the images, Naismith. So it's the light comes in the top, and you can see it bouncing off that blue mirror at the bottom gets to a secondary mirror, bounces off that, gets to a third mirror, bounces off that kind of horizontally so that it would sort of be an eyepiece. Okay. But these suckers are big, so they're connected to the computers, and you get all these mirrors bouncing it wherever we need to go in order to connect it to the computer. This is what I mean by these guys are big. This is the Keck Observatory up in Hawaii. It has some of the biggest mirrors on Earth. And so this is kind of a depiction of what it looks like inside. Again, incoming light, bounce off mirror, go to second mirror, bounce off the eyepiece and into the room or the computer.